Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Blessing Kure. How have you been? I hope you've been amazing. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notification. And if you enjoy watching this video, tell me in the comment section or you can send me an email if you have any other thing you'd like to talk about, professional things only, contact at blessedkure.com. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that I also do travel vlogging. But if you're new here, a quick search through my YouTube channel or my other social media handles will tell you all the places I've traveled to and all the other historical things I've documented during the course of these travels. But one thing that stood out to me for me as a challenge during all those times was the sound quality. I did have a lavalier mic and this mic here, but it didn't do so much in terms of fixing the extensive noise between jumping buses and going to places like my Enugu vlog where it was a high life situation, um, a high life band performing, or all those outdoor exciting things we had to do. After an extensive search considering a host of factors, I found this. Yep, and I absolutely love the reviews I saw on Amazon. I ordered this one from AliExpress. I will be linking in the description the link to purchase it. I had to opt for AliExpress because it was much easier to sort delivery. If you followed my unbo other unboxing videos, you know I constantly talk about getting um, tech stuff into Nigeria. So this came in from AliExpress in less than two weeks. Amazing, right? It comes with two microphones and one receiver, which totally works for me in case I have a guest on my channel and also for my other travel videos. I can't wait to show you what's inside this. So without further ado, let's do this. Right off the bat, one of the pros of the Pixel microphone is the fact that it has two transmitters and one receiver. It also beautifies the voice and cancels noise. I haven't tested it, but that is what they are marketing with five options for your sound, which is for male, female, child, original sound and noise reduction. I can't wait to see what the Pixel wireless microphone has in store for us. Hands are quite tiny, so you have to shake, 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 shake. Oh, it came with a storage bag. Oh, that's magnificent. Okay, waterproof. Smooth zip. Oh, behold the beauty. I love the storage packaging. I do. Okay, before we bring out the transmitter and everything else let's get everything in this bag out so you see what it looks like oh it looks like it has a lot of goodies these are the two transmitters and the receiver but most importantly i'm excited to see what this other end of it has in store for us First, we have the 6.5 mm to 3.5 mm audio adapter then We have the cold shoe mount adapter. There's just one of this to help you connect it to your um, camera or your rig generally. This is a type C to C charging cable. This is a three in one type C charging cable. It seems they put thought to every single detail while making accessories for this. This is a type A to type C adapter. There's just one of these. Lastly, these cables look like a lot, so we have to open it to see what is inside, just to be sure. Uh, okay, this is a lot of cables. There are three, three of them, and each has a label on it. Can you see this one? Connect to LARC receiver. Connect to LARC. This says connect to LARC receiver as well. This is connect to LARC receiver. And this side um, for this end is connect to TRS device, connect to TTRS device, and connect to TTRS device again. So there are three cables, two TRRS to TRRS cables, and then there's just one TRRS to TRS cable. Next, we have going hide and seek the extended antenna. This extended antenna is to boost the distance which it can keep or it can receive from. So, I mean, when we put it into use, it's flexible, which is good, so it doesn't break off. And uh, last but not the least, we have the user manual. It's quite weighty, let's see why that is. Uh, 
Okay, so it's in five languages. We have English, Dutch, Espanol, Japanese, and Chinese. And uh, the list of items and all the other details you need to know in those various languages. So I want to read manuals. So this is definitely a worthy read. Although like just the English version because I don't speak the rest of the languages. <laughs> now that that section is done, let's move back to this part. I'm going to start, this was peeking out, so I'm going to start with this. Just look at this. This is the inbuilt microphone. This is the function button. This red circle here is the function button. And this little bit here, this little, just right above the vocal alarm, is the lead indicator. And this is the charging port. It's type C, which explains why we have the type C cables. The features are the same with the second one, obviously. So this is quite lightweight to feel. Uh, the charging port, unlike the microphone, the charging port is above, it's right here. Mm -hmm. And we have the function button. This first one is the function button. The second one is the volume plus, the volume minus. So give them come, um, it's commendable how well marked this is and how detailed the manual is, which means if you have no experience using Pixel or any uh, wireless microphone, this shouldn't be difficult to navigate. And uh, this is background audio import. This is where you can monitor your sound using the headphone jack. And the seventh port here is full tone output. That is the output coming from here. So I have charged this using the three in one USB charging cable, which seems like a faster option as opposed to charging each item. So to turn it on, you're going to long press this power button. It's pretty easy to see. Um, it has the power button symbol. This is for adding volume. This is for reducing volume and also for toggling between channels when connecting, which I would explain in a bit. So you long press this. So this goes like, when you long press it, the only thing that shows up on the screen because you haven't paired the transmitters is this battery symbol which just tells you oh green means the battery is okay yellow and red well pretty much how red green yellow works i'm also going to turn this on it's currently showing you white which is reflecting here because i left it on the original sound i could toggle between all the five modes this is yellow this is red this is blue this is green they all have their different functionalities white is original mode which is basically how the sound comes into the microphone without any processing yellow is noise reduction red is female voice beautified the blue is male voice beautified and um green is for children's voice so i maybe may just leave it at original sound maybe if i do a video testing it out completely i will have a better take as to what works for me but for now let's just let our original sound since we're just setting it up then we turn on the second one and the very instant you turn on the second one you see that this number pops up here this network sign is just the signal strength saying oh this is in proximity and it's green and it's ready to go while the battery is for both the transmitters as well as the receiver's battery this uh circle with the dot in it just the modes for the voices and the voice level is displayed by this particular symbol so when it's really picking up good sound you see it's green if it's yellow it means uh not so great if it's red it means it really can't pick up anything see lastly there are modes you can switch between reverberation modes and this is for recording studio you'll see the symbol here then the next one is for broadcasting the next is concerts hall mode auditorium mode and well, lastly, you have no mode. Mm, I haven't tested them out again. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see a video as to how this works. So I had already paired these, but when pairing, you would need to use the charging cable connected to this, to this, and then you just toggle between them. It's pretty easy, but please make sure you read the manuals because I spent an awful amount of time working on this when I could easily just, well, sync them. This cable is what we're going to use. It's type C to C, so it goes into well the same charging port and it's connected to the receiver right here this is how you pair both of them turn this on and oh it was on before you turn you turn this on and you also turn this on so it's supposed to show yes so you see then you toggle between this number this channel 
uh, this was already paired so you could continue using it if you've paired it before you could just um, turn both on and start to use them so this is on channel 12 which means we're done pairing this one and <laughs> what i wish i knew was it mustn't be the same number i spent an awful amount of time trying to ensure all the transmitters were on the same number which was a total waste of time so see this is on 17 and there's still no problem both of them are volume at 10 and you could just change everything and set the transmitters and whatnot so yeah pretty straightforward when it's trying to pair when you press maybe top to connect the left hand side and down to connect the right hand side which is the other transmitter you will notice that as you press it to try to find a channel that works this also blinks until it's stably put on that channel so it's on blue which is male voice beautified but regardless of it it's going to blink so when i change it to green it's still going to blink when it's trying to pair when pairing the second one the bottom volume pairs the second bit so both of these are paired now simply take this out and they're ready to use they aren't as tiny as i thought because see size check and check can close into face and this cannot thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed watching it i hope you're convinced and not confused if you're nigerian you're going to get that part um that this is an amazing microphone to get for your outdoor shoots and i think it works amazing for indoors too i will take it out for a test ride and tell you in my next video what my opinion is while testing it in the field no other better place to test this actually than the outdoors where i am now so let's just Try it out and I'll include that in another video. Bye! Ooh, subscribe, like, comment, turn on post notification and follow me on social media. <laughs>